All right, what up, world? We are out here chasing a solar eclipse, and we're on our way to Beatrice, Nebraska. And we're excited for a site that will likely change our lives. Right now, it's cloudy. What's your reaction going to be? My reaction your to seeing reaction. a solar eclipse? And then there's gonna be some other guy standing to the right of me. Can't stop screaming, I've seen this before. I say this every week. <laughs> Sir, that's mathematically impossible. I don't care, you scream, you break the cows. <laughs> Get out of my yard. Are you going to the solar eclipse? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Yes! We knew it! Our neighbors are here. These guys right here are going to the solar eclipse. Awesome! <laughs> there's actually a lot of people, like based on who I've been talking to, there's a lot of people there's driving down to the solar eclipse. Do you want some fruit snacks? Yes! Okay, catch! Yeah! It made it! Woo! Thumbs up! We just gave these people. You guys can merge ahead of us too. We'll be nice. The Chinese word for solar eclipse is Xi. Xi. Which means to eat. Because the ancient Chinese thought that a dog was eating the sun. So they would bang on pots and pans to try to scare the dog away. <laughs> the Greek historian Herodotus wrote in 585 BCE, a solar eclipse caused a cease fighting between the Lydians and the Medes. Literally, they interpreted it from a sign from the gods that they were to stop the battle immediately. Nice killing ya. So I'm gonna show you basic illustration of how solar eclipses actually work. This big red rubber ball represents the sun. This dime, this tiny little dime represents the moon, and I represent the earth. The moon is actually 400 times smaller than the sun. Well, if I throw this big red rubber sun out there, and the moon comes orbiting around earth, from my vantage point, they look the same size. And that's because in reality, the moon is 239,000 miles away from Earth, while the sun is 93 million miles from Earth. So that's 400 times further away. So even though you could fit 64.3 million moons into the sun, from my perspective here on planet Earth, they look the exact same. So the sky went almost completely pitch black. The cicadas, you can hear them in the trees right now, are roaring like mad because they're probably tricked that they think it's night. It was so quick, it was like a couple seconds and then in and then out. And you see this big red ring start to form around the sun as the moon slowly shifts past it. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go get a better view of the eclipse. It's gonna take me a while and I can't see Squat climbing this tree. I think it's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> 50 feet up and the eclipse is way better from up here. I'm so high. Hey. No, 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 don't. Bring the camera back. Hannah almost cried. Did you yeah, cry? Any tears? She was this close to crying. This close to crying. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was insane. 100% insane.